Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lions from Lambs YouTube channel and welcome to the first video lesson on the channel. I'm Rob Malone. Today's lesson is on place value. Understanding place value is crucial for students. When they start getting into adding and subtracting two and three digit numbers, making sure their place values are lined up correctly is vital to them being able to solve the problem. I tell my students from day one, if they get their place values correct, they've put themselves in a great position to get the right answer. But if they get their place values wrong, they will almost always get the wrong answer. So that's why we're starting out with this concept. Now, I'm only going up to three place values, ones, tens, and hundreds in this lesson because once that basic structure is understood, the greater place values, such as thousands, ten thousands, and so on, can be added relatively simply. So without any further delay, here's the video lesson on understanding place value. Okay, so what exactly is place value? Well, it's all about understanding the value of each digit in a number based upon its position in that number. Let's break that down a bit. Value, the definition of value is what something's worth. Now place, in this context, when we're talking about numbers, place is where a digit is located in a given number. So place value, when dealing with numbers, Place value is what a digit is worth based upon its position in a given number. All right, so let's look at an example to try and make that a little bit more clear. Let's look at the number 25. Okay, this is one number, but there are two digits that make up this number, 2 and 5. Now, each of those digits have their own place and value. The 5 is in the 1's place, and the 2 is in the 10's place. Now, what these digits are actually worth is called their place value. In the 1's place, in any number, any digit that comes in the 1's place has a value of exactly one of those digits. So in the number 25, the digit 5 has a value of exactly 5. Now the digit 2 is in the tens place. A digit in the tens place in any number has a worth or a value of exactly 10 of that digit's regular value. That's why it's called the tens place. Now that may not make sense to you at first, so let's look at the number 25 in a different way. Here you see five dots in the ones place. Each dot represents a value of exactly one. And because the digit in the ones place in 25 is five, we've drawn five dots. So that's a value of 5 in the 1's place. It gets interesting when we move to the 10's place. Look what we have in the 10's place. If you count those dots up, we have exactly 20 dots. Why do we have 20 dots? Well, if you follow this and you see here, we've got I've got them separated by pairs, they're in pairs of two, you remember the original digit in the tens place was two, so we've got two, and then because it's in the tens place, we're going to add two to itself ten times. Two plus two is four, plus two is six, eight, ten, okay, we've added it together five times, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. That's where we get the value of 20 in the tens place of 25. 
Okay. So now we have 20. There's the numerical representation below the pictorial representation. And there's 5 in the ones place. So when we add those two together, 20 plus 5 is 25. That's where your place value comes into play. Okay, let's look at another number and let's add a place value to it. This is the number 125. Now, there's a 1 in the hundreds place, okay, a 2 in the tens place, just like our previous number, and a 5 in the ones place. Again, that has not changed. So, the value in the ones place is exactly one of the digit. A value in the tens place is the digit that's in the tens place added to itself 10 times. And can you guess what the value of a digit in the hundreds place is? It's that digit added to itself 100 times. Okay. So if we look now at a pictorial representation, nothing has changed in the tens and the ones place because there's still a 25. A value of five in the ones place represented by five dots, each representing exactly one. 20 dots in the tens place representing a value of exactly 20. Okay, In the hundreds place, we're going to take those dots and we're going to add the dot, one dot, which was the digit in the hundreds place, to itself 100 times. Now, it's easy with 100 or with the digit 1 to do that. But let's go ahead and go through it and see what we've got. I'm going to put up, first off, I'm going to put up a set of 10. Okay, That is 10 individual dots added together. And then another one, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay. So when we look at this now, you have a value of 100 in the hundreds place. Even though the digit in 125 was only 1, the value, because it's in the hundreds place, we add 1 to itself 100 times, which equals 100. And it doesn't matter what the digit is. If it was 2, we'd have 200. If it was 3, we'd have a value of 300. The value in the tens place is 20. And the value in the ones place is 5. And we're going to add those together. Okay, right now they're expanded. We're going to add those together. 100 plus 20 is 120. And 120 plus 5 is 125. And that's place value. So there you have it. Place value broken down. I hope it was easy to understand and provided some value to you or your child. As this is a new style of video for me, I'd love to hear any comments or critiques from you in the comments below. If anything was confusing or, or didn't quite work for you, please let me know that also. I'm quite certain these video lessons will evolve over time as I see what works and what doesn't. But remember, the whole point of them is to make these concepts easier to understand. So any comments from your perspective would be greatly appreciated. Until next time. Take care.